Y'all Joe here. I'm back with another video. Today, here in front of me, I have the 2022 Genesis G70 sedan 3.3 uh, turbo. This is the top of the line trim prestige model. This is a beautiful shade of uh, Andriatic Blue. This is what this color is called Andriatic Blue. Take a look at the front of this. This G70, you can see they actually they have these uh, quad headlight system going on here. Full LED, full LED uh, turn signals, low and high beams as well. Now, as we take a look at the front grille here, I actually like the size of this grille here on the G70. It looks the, it looks like the right proportion on this vehicle, other than the G80 and the G90. The grill on those two vehicles just looks way too big, but on this G70 here, it just looks, you know, like the right size. So it's actually kind of, it's growing on me a little bit. I actually like the design of the, of the front of this vehicle here. None of these down here, uh, this grill portion right here is not functional. It's just there for, you know, for trim piece. But the, of course, the middle portion of the grill is functional there is no fog lights on this model you can't get fog lights on either genesis g70 trims even on this type of line prestige model as we come to the side of this vehicle here this vehicle is carrying uh, michelin pilot sports very sticky tires blacked out rims nice size nice nice uh you know nice design to it Another trim piece right here. It is functional. Just for aerodynamics, something special. This Genesis model does not have this uh the camera system that you have in the uh that you would see in your blind in your gauge cluster. This Genesis does not have that. But I'm gonna double check on that. Alright, coming to the rear of the vehicle. Checking out the trunk. This trunk is very high. It sits high and there's not a lot of space in between the bottom portion and the top portion. But it's, it's, it's a good size. You can, you can fit some stuff in here. But if you want a bigger trunk area, then you're going to have to go for a G80 or maybe a G90. We have Genesis lettering spelled on the back. G70 right there. And a 3.3 badge right there as well. Full LED rear tail lights, tail lights. It is all red for your brakes and turn signals in the rear. And coming to the side of the vehicle, you can see this vehicle is well proportioned. I've seen a couple of videos on it. I thought it was small, but it's actually bigger in person. All right, taking a look under the hood here, guys. As I said, this is a 3.3 turbo, 365 horsepower, 376 pound-feet of torque. Made it to an 8-speed automatic transmission. Very clean looking engine. I believe this is a carryover from the Stinger, uh, but just a little bit more power. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that, but I know the Stinger has a 3.3 as well. All right, guys, stepping inside the G70. This is a very, it's a small cabin, but depending on how big you are, you could feel good. Um, I sit right in it. I'm 170 some odd pounds, 5'10", so I fit okay. Taking a look here at the door panel, you have a uh, soft touch injection molded plastic up here. You have some silver uh, plastic trim right here with an aluminum aluminum painted door handle. Two stage, uh, a two person memory seating right there. Taking a look down at the door panel, you have this very soft portion right here of leather, the same material that is on the seats. Very nice. You have one touch uh, for the front window. 
and one touch for the back windows. So one touch for all four windows. And of course you have your traditional lock and un unlock buttons right there. Um, down here as you can see you have an illumination for the uh, interior lighting. I'm not sure if this car has um, ambient lighting in it. It's way too bright for me to even tell right now. And then of course you have your gas and trunk release. Taking a look at the steering wheel here, of course you have your phone controls on the left side. And they gave you a favorites button on the wheel as well. You can program that to Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. I'm pretty sure it's wireless in this trim, but I'm not going to 100% say it is. But it's a good thing that they put that button here instead of having you search for it. Then of course on the right side of the steering wheel you have all your uh, cruise control buttons and whatnot. Um, with steering assist and the uh, distance marker for the vehicle in front of you. Nice size steering wheel. Nice, nicely uh, leather wrapped. Horn sounds rather beefy. So that's a good thing. Taking a look here at the gauge cluster here. It's a half and half. They gave you a LCD on the right side and the analog uh, speedometer on the left side. Personally, I don't like this setup. Uh, I would assume that in the next uh, update for this model that they'll give it a full, um, you know, digital display. But that's if this car really sells and, you know, for the demand. But I don't personally like the half and half. I would rather have either, either or. The dial, the speedometer looks like it's straight out of a Kia Stinger almost. Which isn't a bad thing. It's not a bad thing, of course, but, you know, it's just the fact that it just looks a little, you know, looks a little old school-ish. You have this nice uh, padded portion right here where your arms are going to rest. Nice size compartment. Not deep enough. Not as deep, but, you know, you have one USB charger right there. You have two cup holders with this nice uh, metal-like trim around it. Looks, looks pretty nice with a good texture around the rim. You have an electronic parking brake. Camera views for your surround view camera. Yeah, this, this model does not have a top down view. So I don't know if this is the top model. If this is the very top of the trim. Because I know there is one more trim that gives you a display for a top down view. With uh, cameras on the mirror that will give you, you know, the blind spot in your in the in the cuff in the gauge cluster right there uh, you have auto hold parking sensors you have your drive modes here you have comfort sport sport plus and custom along with eco and when you put the vehicle in sport plus the bolsters automatically sort of hug you depending on how big you are you will probably feel it more than I am right now Although I, the only thing I feel is it actually, you know, tightening up a little bit, but it's not really, you know, hugging me like crazy. Of course, you have a traditional shifter here with uh, reverse, neutral, and drive, and P for park. If I put the vehicle in drive, neutral, and reverse, the, ca uh, the mirrors will angle down. Can't toggle the shifter into. Uh, you know a slapstick mode where you push it up and down you have to use the paddle shifters to do that but the good thing about that is the uh, it does rev for a long time so once you put the once you mess around with the paddle shifters they do hold the gears for a while they just don't you know automatically shift back into another gear so I guess that's an advantage of not being able to you know slap the shifter over and go up and down down here we have a wireless charger with two USB ports and a 12 volt power outlet and above that we have all the AC controls they still Genesis is still putting buttons in their vehicles which is a good thing because Hyundai is starting to take them out they're starting to use you know touch sensitive things but Genesis decided to keep the buttons you have uh, heated and cooled seats both uh, are three stage automatic climate control you have your media settings above with a volume and tuning knob. If I turn the tuning knob, 
I can zoom in and zoom out on the factory embedded navigation. I absolutely love that feature. I have it in my vehicle. I love it. Although it doesn't work with Apple CarPlay or Android Auto Maps, it only works with the factory embedded navigation. Of course, you have your nav, your radio, your media display for your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You have uh, Sounds of Nature, of course. I'm not going to show you guys that again. I'm pretty sure if you see my video or any other person's video before who've done, you know, Hyundai. Genesis and Kia vehicles that they display the sounds of nature. Everyone's seen it already. Take a look here in the rest of the dash. You have this soft or padded portion right here with some silver uh, trim right there. Goes across the whole dash. Looks very elegant. Soft touch leather all on the dash with some genuine looking stitching, but I believe it might be full stitching. This is a touch screen as well very quick to respond to my touch very user friendly very nice display this is a 10 and a quarter in size it's not it's not protruding my view at all if I look towards this way it's not in my view at all no heads up display on this vehicle taking a look here at the top you have a black suede headliner very nice you have a panoramic sunroof on this vehicle well not panel it does open and it does open out as well so that's a very nice future right there you have full LED lighting throughout the cabin that's to be expected in this trim you have your of course the sunglass holder right there all right, the front seat is a very nice place to be, but let's check out the back seat and see how much space do we got back there. All right, guys, hopping into the back seat here. I am sad to say that I had to move this front seat from my driving position up. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to fit back here. Uh, but the way I'm sitting now, after I move the seat up, I am comfortable. I do have leg space between my knee and the back of the, of the driver's seat. So I'm pretty comfortable. I'm not sure if whoever would to be driving, if they're the same height as me, that they would be comfortable. But I know if I was back here, I would be comfortable. You have two map uh, pockets in the back of each seat. On the passenger front seat, you have this walking device where you can move the front seat up by just pressing those buttons to give yourself more space back here. You have two air vents for the back as well with one USB charging port nice area for your cup holders um, or for your drinks rather with that same material aligning the uh, the cup holders very nice trim piece that they put back there you have uh, of course your LED lighting for the cabin as well no manual sunshades or heated seats for this model but you get the same deal of material for the doors up top soft touch injection molded plastic with this nice uh, padded area right here the same material that's on the seats with this nice area right here and this portion right here where you would down the window is hard touch plastic but you probably wouldn't rest your arm on that much uh, and a bottle holder in the door these seats are very comfortable. I sit right in them. So this is a nice vehicle, guys. If you have a family and you want a sedan, the G70 probably wouldn't be the way to go, depending on how big your family is. But definitely the G80 or maybe even the G90. Or if you're more into SUVs, the GV70 or the GV80. There is no GV90 yet. But I heard there is one coming. And then there is also the Hyundai Palisade. I, let me correct myself on something. This isn't the top model. This isn't, this isn't a prestige trim. This is the Sport Advanced. The prestige model would give you those features that I talked about, which is a blind view camera system, sunshades, and rear heated seats. But as this model sits, starting at 48, 310, 
I like this vehicle. It's a it's a little tight for me to be honest, even though I'm not that big of a guy, but I still like this vehicle and I would buy it. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for this video. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, and tell me your thoughts on this vehicle, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.